Hello, good morning. We're back with another episode of Check No Blub. Here with me is and we have a few guests in the building too. About some interesting stuff. So, for us, we're going to allow the young man to my right to introduce himself. Hi, my name is Manuel Brown and I represent Rail. It's a company that we work for. Okay, and my name is Jamal Gasco and I also represent Rail. Okay, so we have Rail in the building. So, who want to talk first? What's Rail? What's Rail? Alright, well, um, we are actually co-founders of a company called REM, right? Um, it stands for Research Innovate Lifestyle, with the concept that we research on problems, we innovate, make apps, because we feel technology is the actual new goal, right? That's actually the way to go. So we innovate on what the problem is, create an application, and hope to impact other people's lifestyles. Feel it better. All right, so it's real. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so you want to do something? Well, today we're going to talk about on US application, which is, uh, like, I don't know if you guys are going to buy it. Yeah, okay, buy it. Yo, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so your mind is basically an application that we create. Before you get into your mind, okay, we're just one thing. Let's ease into this. Okay, well, ease into the company. Ease into the company. So, real can started really back in 2016. Okay. Right? With the concept of innovating and creating applications. And not just applications for your smartphones, but applications that you can use on your desktop as well. Yeah, right? Um, we started out with a couple of ideas, you know, brainstorming of ideas. And one of those ideas we started out with um, is Pistol. Pissed yeah, you know, piss And Pissed is going to be not just an application, but also a system. Now, I can tell you, I'll give you a brief introduction as to what it is, right? But I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay. I said, no, no, make sure that you clear. So, this is Marlo. Yeah. Um, uh, you should model because you kind of sit up, kind of weird. Yeah, I guess some orientation is I guess some way you make this kind of vibes. Like, yeah. So these are the real people. All right. So this one. This one. What is this one? Did anyone want to say? And and that's that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine that you're in here, about because you're in here, about Yes. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. PISURF is going to be the first unbound system in siblings and your needs. And that pretty much spells out what it does. Unbound. You don't need a bank account. You don't need a credit card. That's something everybody looking for. That's you something know. a lot of people are yeah. looking for, for. In fact, we've made multiple strides. I mean, he didn't talk plenty about what we experienced, but it's hard work. I mean, what we went through. Actually, yeah, like, real was incorporated in 2016, <laughs> but Pissworth was incorporated in 2015. Right? So Pissworth was actually a lot of work, and we actually work on it up to today. And that application is going to be the first digital unbanked system, payment system, e-commerce system, incident and internet. Okay. There is nothing like it. We know because our name says research. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. So, so I want to know how soon it's going to launch. But right now, um, it's getting ready to go in its beta phase. I mean, we did a lot of work on it. Um, I mean, that's a lot of time with a lot of work, and we had to keep going from the drawing board back down. I remember times when Jamal would be up 24 7, I'm talking late in night, trying to get some of this stuff in. And he was just texting me like 3 o'clock and be like, yo, we're up. Okay. Yeah! Like, so, how are we looking? Take that back down. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of work, but right now it's actually in its beta phase. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, it's, one, so, one of the benefits of PISWIP is that, for instance, uh, local, local merchants, people sell stuff locally, they may have a website. And they want to receive some payments on right? mm -hmm. Now we know PayPal is using the same right now. Right? Yeah. So it's kind of difficult for them to get that payment on the actual check. 
cash. Not a lot of people feel comfortable drinking from their vacation at home. Right. Just to take cash for something. Simple. Simple. That's the only simple. So the problem that this is not solved there is that we're going to create that infrastructure that bridges the gap. That will allow that person to make a digital payment to that local store. Um, and that local store will not see that incoming payment. You can register it and then from there we can move forward with the final transaction, which is just passing the point. Whether it's digital or physical. Our service right. don't matter. Yeah. Even on mobile phones, for instance, or on your app, um, you buy it. You allow a person to upload items or products for sale. Right? So one of our hopes is that we integrate this with what you buy so that now you can directly pay for your products through your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So the great thing is about that anybody, any developer can actually use this yeah. service. It's not just something that we want you know, keep Have for ourselves. We want we want everybody to learn yeah. and to experience this. I know when when we look at Simmons, right? I think the way how we looked at it was that we realized Simmons is not maybe harsh to say backward, but we're just not up to date with technology. Right? And that's the reason, that's the major, that's one of the major reasons why Facebook was actually for us. It's because we're seeing the problems and we can't fix it. I have to go in a line to pay a bill that I have to pay and spend a very long time on something that I feel the company wants the money. I want to give it to you, but this is too tedious. Right? It's just too tedious. That's the pro that's the problem that we saw, and that's the problem this web is actually going to deal with. Okay. It's the smartest, fluent, seamless transaction, safest, <laughs> integral <laughs> lockdown <laughs> systems. Don't think anybody's gonna hack it. It's unhackable. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's some good, that's some good. Um so what are some of the other accomplishments? Besides space with anybody. Mm -hmm. There was uh, some other apps that we would not mention because they were not successful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the time, when you push this one, like, yeah, there's always going to be some obstacles. Mm -hmm. I mean, you try something, no one knows what that is, you know, to keep pushing forward. Yeah. Right? So we had some unsuccessful projects. I mean, that's, that's for anybody. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the That's part of the That's part of the We are, as a problem of accomplishment, where the businesses, I mean, this with Manu Bayman is going to be the biggest. Yeah, that's the biggest. Right? Because we really spend the time, we really done research on it. That's going to be what we think. So, yeah, yeah. change. Okay. Alright, so we've heard about real, we've heard about. With now, we're gonna be talking about your buying. So, let's hear about your buying. All right, so, well, your buying is a platform that we created to basically allow individuals to sell their items uh, on it. Okay, it's very simple to use. So, for instance, you see that laptop there, this was laptop. It's a very nice laptop. How much would you want for that? Uh, Five. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, I, I was thinking it was a little bit more expensive. So pay it every But no no worries, no worries. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it with your own smartphone and you pretty much put it up for sale. And you'll reach many, many users instantaneously. Yeah. So it's like eBay. In a sense. In a sense, eBay for St. Vincent. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at a lot of these other sites or even the Facebook groups, one of the major problems is that it's very disorganized. I mean, mm -hmm. even though it probably works to some extent, mm -hmm. it's very disorganized. Um, certain persons they have problems communicating with the sellers, um, and then you find that if a seller poses up a product and then somebody tries to communicate with them to get the product to buy, that transaction, that, that area of making communication with them. Simplified, it's not it's there not on Facebook, it's not there. Mm -hmm. And then you find the, the sellers there, not the sellers, sorry, the buyers, right. you go back to the groups and they will start to land on the groups and say, oh, you know, so bored and the person not selling. So we create an environment where it's a little bit more controlled, okay. you know, it's more organized, it gives you the buyer the sense of when you go through our, our, our platform, you see a product, it's there, you could, you could buy it. Okay. It's simple. 
Just as the name suggests. You're, you're buying. buying. <laughs> it's yeah. catchy. It's catchy. Mm-hmm. You're buying. Yeah. Yeah. It's catchy. Um, so as a developer, I don't have some questions I would like to ask you. Um, in terms of the coding challenges, what any other challenges? Is it, is it native? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you was beating around a question. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I could answer that question in terms of. Those in the I didn't that. What we did, we decided to not go off of something existing. We decided to do everything from scratch. So we used some open source technologies, um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and these kind of technologies. So it's not 100% native on the Android platform. It uses a hybrid system. Okay. Right? Um, so we have an Android app, mm-hmm. right? Of the nearby application, and we also have a web based application for it as well. So, if you're on like Apple devices or any other device from a platform, you can actually just go to our website or email me that you find your Remember that? <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have something right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so the web app. Um, meshes into that environment. So everything, if you choose to use your Android device, you know, you download and install an application, you post your product to sale, and the good thing about it, you post as much as, as much products as you want, and then you can manage them from your smartphone, and then that's a great service. You want to move from your smartphone, you can put your desktop or your laptop, you can use your laptop. So, <laughs> so you can go to your desktop or your laptop, and then you can access the same interface that you had before okay. on your phone. Right? So it was a bit challenging. You have to pick up everything on the track. Build your access to that Pretty cool. What well, I like about this thing, you know, you're not even going to buy yourself, you know. You think it makes it speak more than anything else. So I know, I know the challenge of that. And another thing I would like to ask you guys is St. Vincent is uh, a market that is not a huge market. Um, what, is, what, is, what, what is it like to get this into the hands of people and get them to appreciate this mobile application? How do you see that happening? You want to take this one? Sure, not that. No, okay. sorry, anybody in the market convince me so. <laughs> convince you? Convince me so. Okay. As a fellow of intention. No problem, no problem. Um, well, like he said before, the application is much more controlled, right? Mm-hmm. And as a result, a lot of persons actually prefer a more controlled environment than, a vi- than an environment that isn't controlled, right? So through your buying application, when you use this application, for example, you know, on Facebook, you'll see people rant and say things that are not nice, right? Mm-hmm. Or they're upset. But on your buying, you can't have that. We won't have that. Mm-hmm personally won't have that. So you're going to find that your application, your product actually meet a further reach in terms of persons as well because we've been doing some marketing and we have a good amount of persons already using the application. So when you start using this application, you already know you're reaching over 100 buyers already just by posting it there, potential buyers. And we increasingly steady growth is happening. Since Vincent, a lot of people in Seminsu don't really see at the beginning the need for something. But like we said, we research. And if it's something I realize is when we create a demand, the supply will follow. Well, let me stop it. Here's, here's my first thing first. I think you messaged me when we started Techno Blog and told about the that. I went to the app store, I have a dongle on my phone. So I have been using it for a while now. So I do the application, I get all of the notifications when things work. <laughs> <laughs> I see and I use the application. I haven't bought anything yet, <laughs> but now that I am using it. If you go on Facebook, there are groups Amazing. almost every other day popping up there buying um, stuff. So I see the need for this platform. It's not a case where you are shooting for a problem that doesn't exist. The so the problem is there. People have stuff they want to sell, they need a place for it. So I 
in terms of that, and you are satisfied with that. In terms of using it, it's quite simple. You could just pull, pull it up and use it. So that is my humble submission there. Keep in mind, you're also a developer, so you actually crave yeah. this kind of tech. So the fact that you see it, you'll be all over like, whoo! But the normal user, we target the normal user, especially like, not you. Right. Another normal user. So because you're not buying anything. <laughs> 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 but there are posters that, that the posters I've got because you're tech, you're into tech. So obviously, you hate something come from the internet. So mm. You'll be all over that, right? Okay. And there's persons who, who we, the persons we really target. It's good that you're there because <laughs> we appreciate it. You we really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't heard about him yet. So <laughs> no, you put that for sale just <laughs> now, <laughs> right? But the persons we really target is the persons who are already in the market and we already realize there's a need for it because just as how you said, there's a lot of Facebook um, groups that popping up overnight showing case in that they want to sell products. Send them so want to go this way, but they don't know how. Okay. Okay. Alright, so Yes, yeah, so um it was a pleasure having you here and learning about you buying this with and real. Real. Right. And fun fact, we went to grammar school at around the same time. Miss Lecock was your principal. Miss Lecock. So I guess we're doing grammar school some some proud yeah. some proud things right now. Yeah. Some right? Some bunch of delinquents. <laughs> 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 Wait, before, before we close, I have one more question. Um, quality control. Um, do you guys... On your, I don't have a Windows phone. I'm a Windows phone. He's a Windows phone. Alright? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's very good. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. So, and, Let's like said, interface. Well, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem, right? So, um, with quality control, do you guys are able to rate or review or, like, sell us? Do they, if, if someone is selling you a phone and you get the phone and the phone is like broken, mm -hmm. right? Can you review on your site or anything like that to let other people know that this supplier is not a good supplier? Is there anything like that, like a rating system or review system on your bank? So persons know, you know, when they buy from someone, it's someone legitimate. You know, trusted source. Trusted source. So, mm -hmm. They guarantee to have what they do, you know, for right. the property to sell it. So, um, actually, we are actually working on that for an um, update um, to give you a fully customized rating system for okay. the buyer. But the problem here with these rating systems and why we haven't implemented this yet is because you don't have that direct sense of making a payment. Okay, right. So, if you make a visit, if you make a, a digital payment. Right, it's much easier to read somebody that way because then we can actually see there was a transaction. Okay, you understand? So, we as the, the administrators of the application, we see yes, there was indeed a transaction between um, yeah, Maurice so. and Mara, buyer and seller, right? Mm -hmm. So, then we could then have that rating system implemented. So, now if Mar was not happy with what Maurice is supplying, he can then rate him accordingly. Right. But if right now we implement it, there would be some limitations on it because we don't have digital payments yet. Hence why we're working on this way. Okay. okay. Right? So what we do have in place for the time being is a comment system mm -hmm. where you can leave a comment, you know, previous items or an item that's sold and then from there other other buyers or persons interested in, you know, whatever that other seller is selling, they could see how he's doing in terms of you know, he's a good seller. Now. Okay, okay, so forth. Yeah, so that's a good question. Yeah. To add to that, no, I'm going to pretend to be uh, Steve Jobs. Just this once, because I don't think I'll have a job. <laughs> um, go for it. <laughs> One more thing. Right? Rail has something called a digital presence movement. And this is because, like we said before earlier, we find siblings are lacking. And with this digital presence movement, we're going to give storefronts on your buying to companies that want it, 
a web interface to companies that want it, a customizable interface like that where you could post all your stuff, a mobile application, you could say. And you know where is this? You know, you know the fun piece of all this drama? Uh, you really want to do this. But, but, but we have to. We have to. This is a moment. This is a moment. <laughs> How much are we going to charge these people for this? I, I'm pretty sure I had to figure something out. Look, look up my books. Did you, did you really say free? Free? That's what you told me. We're going we're gonna to do it for free. When am I going to get money to fund this? <laughs> <laughs> for free. I mean, 100%. Free. Yeah. See what I'll copy my digital school for. For free. Alright, thank yeah. you. Get, you get it for free. Long. I feel real. What was it? That should be our own story. This way. You will be incorporating oh, this way. I'm incorporating. You're buying. But think about it. Your store is going to be up and running 24 7. You could get money while you're actually asleep. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm, I'm real. Real. I'm so real. <laughs> you have, yeah. to you have to be. Have to be. <laughs> have to be. For free! <laughs> have to, you have to trade, man. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Alright, alright. I'm going to escape up with real. Real. I'm 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 real. i so right. is it. Right. This, is right. it. this is it. This is it. That's good. That's good. Yeah. This is it. All right, folks. That has been another episode of Techno Blog. Join me next time and my partner, Ben Wilkins, for another awesome episode. All right. We just want to thank Jamal and Malo for coming here with us. <laughs> it was great. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was a pleasure having them. Yeah. I saw you guys on YouTube, and now I'm here. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw you guys on YouTube already talking so, about phones and stuff. It was good. Yeah. It was yeah. good. So we encourage other persons, you know, if you're interested, to shout us up. All right. All right. All right.